even if you want to follow traffic rules some people won't just let you follow the traffic rules see ha huh. good morning everyone it's the last sunday at this time we were somewhere in the hills in the hills of uttarakhand in or rather amidst non stop rain yeah as you possibly saw in the last video the trip video that i uploaded the cinematic one how non stop the rain was okay in this vlog i'm going to address some of the frequently asked questions to me about the himalayas and how it rides and all that stuff i know i have done a question answer type a q and a type thing earlier also but some of you still have questions a very common question that comes into everyone's mind i have observed is that um, how good is this bike in terms of handling well i have addressed this all these questions earlier also let me also stop for a second to switch on the secondary camera well in city handling it is absolutely brilliant because of this amazing turning radius uh, that is there in the royal enfield himalayan on the highway see as i already mentioned uh, the sweet spot of this motorcycle is 8200 now on the highway when i did the last trip in few stretches i did touch 110 and the bike still glided smoothly but post 110 like when you reach the 120 130 mark it's not that the bike cannot do it it can it does it but then again uh, there are good amount of protests from the engine i mean that's what i felt now this is again all before the recall thing happened because if you are aware royal enfield did a silent recall of uh, the himalayan for fixing certain issues like the clunky gearbox uh the extreme hard and clunky gearbox i should say and uh, then it has uh, this hard clutch problem on my bike i told them that there is uh, uh a problem with uh, the bike stalling so all these things were heard actually by Royal Enfield on Wednesday I got a call stating that uh, I mean they didn't mention it about as a recall or something they said so this is just a feedback and uh, So I told them yeah these uh, this is my feedback these are the issues that I face on my ride on my bike all that stuff and then they said that there is a camp that is going on so we would request you to bring your bike so I told that I mean the timing that they mentioned uh, they were not exactly very suitable for me so they said no problem sir we will send you a mechanic who will go to your place pick up the bike and drop it back and that's exactly what they did and i'm talking about sr motors and boy in the evening when they returned the bike it is a completely new bike now trust me it has gone way lot smoother than it was the gearbox has gone butter smooth now and uh, 
the clutch feels lighter the stalling problem has gone so I asked them that what exactly have you done so what they said is that sir we have changed the rocker arm we have tightened the tappets and uh, as a complimental uh, gesture you can say so they have also replaced um, uh, the uh, engine oil they have changed the oil filter they've cleaned the bike I mean overall an absolutely marvelous job done and the Himalayan has become so very smoother than it was before the gear shifting is such a joy now and yeah so I'm happy thank you so much for that I wish you all the best okay coming to another very frequently asked question that what is the top speed that you have attained or does this bike attain a great top speed now let me tell you first of all this bike is not for those people who intend to like go very high speeds and do knee downs on corners maybe Sagar from Power Drift can do that but for me from my perspective I think this bike is not good with cornering why because this bike is meant for touring this bike has got a softer suspension setup so if you are happy with the top speed of 80 to 100 110 kilometers per hour then this bike is certainly for you if you are a tourer like me this bike is for you if you are one of those people who like to go for high speeds then don't buy this bike go ahead and buy a KTM not this bike this bike is for the calm and composed people as I have said in one of my previous blogs for them for the mature rider and then people come up with very strange questions around this bike I remember while going to office one day someone asked me that uh, is this bike or rather does this bike run on diesel I was like completely zapped for a few seconds I was wondering why he didn't ask for CNG someone asked me at the traffic joint that where have I modified this bullet from I was again zapped for a few seconds then I said this is not a modified bike this is how it is built it's a purpose-built motorcycle this is how it has been designed so chill I have not done any modification the pickup of this Royal Enfield is too good watch the speedometer so I'm doing 100 already and from 100 I'm doing braking I'm still on the fifth gear. 